Hey y'all, I'm Maud, a program specialist for the USDA Southwest Climate Hub. This video describes one of our stakeholder engagement efforts, seeking to ensure that our research is accessible and usable to people who need it the most. We know that climate change poses a great challenge for ranchers across the West. But what does climate change look like across different range types, climates, and communities? Our project, Ranching, Rangelands, and Resilience, sought to answer where will climate change pose a high priority threat to rangeland production systems. Understanding the location and the magnitude of impact will help producers and managers prioritize threats and their efforts to address them. We produced climate and forage projections and gathered rancher testimonials to shed light on this question. But how can we share these results in ways that are meaningful and helpful to ranchers in their quest for climate change resilience? To address this question, we invited Extension, NRCS, and Farm Service Agency specialists from across the West for a workshop this summer. We shared our results, then devoted discussion to hearing from attendees, gaining their opinion on our work, learning about their community's specific barriers to climate adaptation, and how we could package or transform our information to be helpful to ranchers and managers. We learned there is no one-size-fits-all approach to sharing information, but heard great ideas to advance the information sharing process. One idea was creating a climate communication specialist position stationed in every state to serve as an intermediary between scientists, managers, and ranchers. They would be helpful for distilling the abundance of tools and complex science around climate change. Complemented with new old ways of doing things like newspaper blurbs, radio shows, and conversations at kitchen tables will aid in reaching busy ranchers. A project-specific stakeholder advisory board would help streamline the engagement process while strengthening ties within the community. And then creating decision support tools that allow ranchers to pick and choose options that best accommodate their diverse needs and lifestyles while fortifying them against climate change. For a full report on this workshop, along with other resources, please visit the website below, or feel free to reach out to me at my email provided. Thank y'all, and have a great rest of the symposium.